All right, my name is Mark. Welcome to MD Ready. Today I have a special um, episode, feature, message, whatever you want to call it for you guys today. So let me get a little closer because I don't feel like zooming in. All right, it's a little un unorthodox. You can see the setting is a little different. I am not at my house right now. I will actually eat dinner shortly. I'm actually at my parents' place. So, got something special for you guys today. Guys, make sure you please um, like, share, subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at MD underscore ready. Um, I'm going to also be supporting a lot of our local um, artists, cooks, whatever it may be. You know, black-owned businesses, all that good stuff. You know, shoot me a message, email, so I can make sure I get your Instagram, your email down below. So I can make sure that I... Sorry, a little close. So I can definitely make sure I start, you know, kind of sharing the information. I want to make sure I'm a resource possible research for folks moving forward. All right. So today we're going to be talking about sites, right? Some people may say, okay, what's the big deal, right? So there are multiple type of sighting systems, okay? Optics, you can go red dot, scopes, um, iron sights, plastic sights on a, on a handgun. Um, you know, they vary. So I'm going to talk about three particular types, and they kind of fit in multiple categories. So, excuse me. Number one, I'm carrying today is my Glock 19 Gen 5. Put my finger here, but I want to get it out of the way. It is loaded, and let's go ahead and safety check it so we can manipulate it. You see, it's empty, clear, everything's good. No magazine. So, the first one I want to go with is iron plastic sights, right? Because pistol type sights. Now, on this Glock 19 Gen 5, it comes with these plastic sights, kind of U-shaped, right? Now, you can replace them with some um, rear iron sights, especially the ones that come on a Glock 34. They're, they're pretty awesome. But then also uh, have some type of fiber optic in the front. I like the way Glock does it. Until these sights break or mess up, I'm not gonna I'm not going to dick around with them, right? So... Excuse me, this is the first type of sighting system that I wanted to talk about because they typically come on handguns. And since they typically come on handguns, um, I personally, I'm not a fan of optics on pistols. I just don't like them. Um, I prefer to be able to shoot and line up that, what is it, equal light, equal sight, something to that nature. I'm used to shooting like that. Both eyes open, I'm used to shooting just like that with my irons or my polymer sights. Now, not to say a red dot is a bad thing, but I just, that's not my preference. If you do that, good for you. Now, pistol sights, iron or plastic. So that's one. Now, they come in handy because optics, red dots, optics can be cracked and broken. Um, batteries can go bad on them. I mean, anything can happen, right? Now, the next type of sighting system I want to talk about is going to be a red dot. This is my Pops Omni um, 5.56 pistol. I believe it's a 7.5 inch burrow, and I put a linear comp on here. Got some arm flip of sights, okay? Front and rear, stabilizing brace, CAC Industries brace, and also some type of inexpensive red dot now this is awesome i love red dots on on ar pistols ar 15s right anything where i'm going to be shooting 100 yards in or i assume that i'm going to be shooting 100 yards in practically 25 to 100 yards i love to have a red dot that's my preference now you can see that it's safe it's clear nothing's in there Chamber is empty. You can see that the ball is all the way back to the rear. For all you safety Nazis. Okay. So for something like this. Something short. Something that's made to be compact. Tucked in your seat. In a, in a go bag or something to that nature. I'll just put a red dot on here. But of course I have some backup irons. Just in case something happens. So because we know batteries fail. Okay. Now that to me that is awesome. Because when you have some really clear glass. Like guys I'm pretty cheap when it comes to. Optics. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. One of my favorite budget optics is the Field and Stream um, Optic. I put that thing through hell. I've seen that I think 70, 
702, 704 tactical. I think that guy, he does like the water bottle test. When I saw that the damn thing went through the water bottle test with flying colors, I had to get it. So um, I've gotten that filter stream wet, dropped it, um, did multiple things to it, and everything's been good, good as can be, right? So that's why I'm okay with budget optics. I always keep some backer irons that I that I dial in just to be on the safe side. Now these, of course, they take batteries. They can go bad. An etch reticle would be a lot better, but that optic helps you out quite a bit. It's a lot. It's a little bit better than irons, right? Because with me personally, my arms are my, my eyes are not the best. You guys can see how I wear glasses. Going past 25 yards, I have a little bit of trouble when it comes to iron sights. Now. With the AR-15 or the M16 style um, curry handle and uh, uh, from post sight, I'm good with that. Past 100 yards, I'm good with that. Maybe just the design of it, right? With the ghost ghost ring in the back and that small aperture in the front. But when it comes to other type of sights, I have a little bit of a, a problem. Maybe also because of the, the, uh, the space in between the sights on that rifle. But I honestly would prefer to, prefer to have a red dot on a pistol. If you hear any noise, that's my son upstairs running around playing with his cousin. No worries. Now, moving forward. The next type of sight, or optic, I guess you would say, is going to be a scope. He has a, and this is my pops, 308. I don't know much about this optic. But just know that it is. it has magnification on it. So magnification is awesome. This, as a matter of fact, it is clear. It's a 308. Okay, we've shot this thing out past 100 yards, no problem. Um, I used to have the exact same one. Uh, I believe it is a Delton. It's a Delton 16 inch 308 uh, carbine full of gas system. Um, even though it's it's not a free flow handguard, I had this exact same rifle, sold it, and I was able to get groups three round groups and a quarter at 100 yards like you can put a quarter over the groups and it was it was that perfect now maybe it's because i had a, like an eight or nine power optic or maybe because i would just it was nice to stay on the bipop but he's able to do around the same without a problem so and that magnification really it, it it takes care of itself right so you don't have to strain your eye you don't have to second guess you just put it in the same exact spot and continue to fire the same trigger press so I haven't had a chance to polish up his trigger yet. I don't know if he wants me to do it. If he wants me to do it, I'll do it. If he doesn't, I'll leave it be. But um, he's able to get a pretty nice grouping with this particular firearm. Now, with magnification, and it is this one. This is an X reticle, but he also has has like the red and green light thing on it, right? For low light. So, but with magnification, you're able to get even more distance. Have a little more clarity. So... Me personally, something with magnification, I'm going to be using an out past 100 yards. So again, going back, this is my pistol. 25 yards and in with iron or, you know, fixed sights, right? Red dot. For me, this is for me. I'm not saying this right or wrong because I'm not, I'm not perfect, right? I'm like an average shooter. For a red dot, for me, Okay between 25 yards or more maybe pushing out to 100 yards even though you can you can push a red dot past 100 yards but for me 25 to 100 yards and again for magnification 100 yards or more so my i have a mosin nagant which is at home and um a buddy of mine his family has some land out out in the country and I was shooting, and this is you know, it's going to sound kind of crazy, I was shooting groups of about a little of a foot. I believe we were shooting about 300 yards. And this was a Mosin and Gauntlet still case. Now, the groups were pretty big, but most people are, you know, lengthwise, they're taller than the foot. So, you know, groups were pretty big. You know, I had put some white paint on the tree and was shooting at the tree, and I was consistently hitting in a particular area at 300 yards. So, I'm sure that it would be minute of man, or whatever you want to call it, at greater distances. So, um, just note that with magnification, this, and this particular farm has an eye relief scope. So, the scope is about six or seven inches away from my face, and it's only a seven power scope. Seven power scope, Mosin Nagant, 20 inch barrel, 
a little bit of trigger work, some other refined things done to it. So um, with that particular firearm, if I'm able to shoot at 300 yards with steel case, I'm sure to make a killing with some brass. And but of course it, it can't compete with, with this particular farm because you know the technology and it's more modernized, right? But any event, guys, I pray that shed some light for you guys on um on different types of sighting systems. It didn't particular. I didn't want to focus on an optic or irons or anything of that nature. I just want to know that want to let people know that there are different ways to actually sight your pistol, your rifle, your AR pistol, AK pistol, you know whatever you want to call it, even a shotgun, right? So but fixed sights, I love them on pistols. I even keep fixed sights on my sub 2000 because that far I'm, I'm usually shooting 25 yards in, right? So, um, but any event, I'm not going to hold you guys. It's already been approximately 11 minutes. So have a blessed day. Make sure you look me up on Instagram. It's MD underscore ready. Uh, check out my videos. I'll make sure I link it below. And um, have a blessed day. If, if there's anything I missed or anything I might have skimmed over or was not clear, please let me know below. I, I can't stand for my videos to be super long, guys. So I do apologize for being over 10 minutes. But have a blessed day. Merry Christmas. Make sure you guys spend time with your family. And take care. God bless.